Dear colleague, good afternoon. Uh, my uh, presentation is entitled The uh, Therapeutic Regimen of the uh, Early Endometrium Cancer. I will be talking about the case 30 year, 38 years age, primary infertility. Uh, we provided ultrasound examination. Uh, the, uh, uh, we did hysteroscopy, and the metrium was changed throughout. Uh, we did uh, the diagnostic excursion, and as a result of the, uh, it was grade one and the metrioid and uh, adenocarcinoma. The patient was given the regimen of hormonal therapy. Uh, it was a complete response on the video. You can see hysteroscopy while uh, we uh, were in the preparing stage of the transfer of the embryon. Histologically, we have the complete response uh, without ever, uh, atypic cells. Now she is in the second trimester uh, of the pregnancy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd like to demonstrate uh, the um, uh, therapy, hormonal therapy in case of the earlier cancer in patients who would like to uh, have the opportunity to get pregnant. Pregnant. Uh, the publication uh, we had from 1950-2017 in 2019, the French uh, doctors, uh, they published uh, the overview of uh, uh, their cases, analyzed cases from 1950-2017, uh, systematic review meta-analysis of prognostic factors. It was 65 uh, papers, 22 prospective, and 43 retrospective. Only four publications, they contain patients more than 50. The majority of patients, uh, they were in the clinical trials, in the Korean trials under the leadership of Park, 148 patients. In 2019, we completed our own prospective trial uh, that included 418 patients, among them 228 with the diagnosis the typical hyperplasia of an endometrium and 190 with the early endometrium cancer. All the patients, they were exposed to hormonal therapy. If there was no full response by the results of the histological examination, no stabilization, partial response, progression, the patients were recommended to be operated upon. Patients with the full response, the patients were followed up and we assessed the reproductive function and oncological results as to the uh, frequency of relapses. The selection criteria, fertile, uh, reproductive age, uh, the uh, wishes of patients to be fertile, to preserve fertility, uh, we uh, 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 informed content was, or was uh, asked for and Dimitri grade one or two without uh, the signs of invasion or the minimal invasion according to MRI data less than two millimeters and without signs of remote metastasis. Uh, our conservative treatment, our basic uh, for our, uh, uh, conservative treatments are still the low high doses of histogen. Uh, we uh, administered levonorgestrel containing intrauterus system. Uh, concentration of levonorgestrel in endometrium turned out to be 100 times higher than uh, using per uh, oral histogens with the minimum side effects. While we select agonisms for uh, hormonal therapy, we uh, selected among four on medications, so we decided to use uh, buserelin that is registered in uh, the Russian Federation and is uh, prescribed in case of the hyperplastic uh, changes in the endometrium. Now there are publications reporting about the effectiveness of buserelin in case of the 
B9 hyperplasia of the endometrium. And we have uh, the successful experience using this medication in early endometrium cancer. In our trial, patients with the atypic uh, hyperplasia of the endometrium and cancer of endometrium, they were different only in terms of age. The uh, medium age, 34 atypic hyperplasia and 32 early endometrium cancer. I'd like to say that only 29 and 25 percent of patients, they have their BMI more than 30 kilos. The majority of patients, they didn't have any labors before the diagnosis. Also, the majority of patients, 71 percent and 72 percent, they had the regular menses. In half of the cases, patients didn't have uh, symptoms of the endometrial pathology on the time of at the time of diagnosis. Patients with the early endometrial cancer, 10 percent, it was grade two, and the signs of early invasions, according to MRI, 10 percent. Having studied hormonal, hormonal therapy in case of atypical hyperplasia, we started to use the intrauterus spiral uh, uh, levastrel containing uh, three months and six months, uh, and we control uh, we, the condition of endometrium with pipal biopsy. Then we added to levaginestrel intrauterus spiral uh, gonadotropic uh, hormone. Uh, we didn't see any advantages of this regimen, and we get back to the previous therapeutic regimen, and then we added to, together with the spirals. So we had the patients where we used high doses of medroxyprogesterone acetate. When we achieved the full response, the patients were recommended pregnancy, maybe with use with uh, IT or uh, use uh, uh, prophylactically uh, the LS uh, intrauterus spirals, spirals. If there were no full response, we recommended hysterectomy or continue uh, hormonal th therapy up to 12 months. In case of endometrium cancer, we combined LC intrauteral spirals with the honotropine releasing hormone. Uh, in the in the central uh, in uh, the middle of the treatment, we use pipal endometrium. Then we combined LS intrauterus spirals and agonists of uh, release of gonadotropin releasing hormone, or MPA. We didn't see any advantages of this regimen, and we get back to the uh, to the previous uh, therapeutic regimen. Uh, reg uh, regimen it's uh, levosterone containing intrauterus spirals and uh, 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 an agonist of the uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone. In three months, uh, starting from the beginning of hormonal therapy, we registered the full response in 93% of patients with the typical hyperplasia of endometrium, and in 77% of patients with the early endometrial cancer. Our protocol uh, suggested to treat at least six months. Uh, the full response uh, uh, percentage uh, was increased, and we continued treatment up to 9-12 months. Levagesterone containing spiral, uh, the effectiveness of treatment was 98, 98%, and in case of the early endometrium cancer, 89%. It's a statistically significant difference. In case of the typical hyperplasia of endometrium, all the three regimens with the use levagenestrol containing spiral uh, were effective, and uh, statistical difference was not significant. When we use the high doses of hydroxyprogesterone acetate, uh, the response was 87 percent, comparing uh, to the other therapeutic regimen. In case of the endometrium cancer, the use of LV containing spirals together with the agonist with the releasing hormones, uh, the full response turned out to be 71 percent. The higher fre frequency rate of the full response, uh, 96 percent, uh, we achieved where the spiral uh, was uh, combined with the uh, gonadotropin-releasing hormone agonism 
lost uh, endometrium extraction. Uh, 32% they were not treated, uh, 32 patients, 8% eight, eight were not treated, 47% they discontinued the treatment, and uh, uh, the median of uh, following up was 33 months. 280% uh, so they planned pregnancy, and 38% uh, they planned pregnancy with the assisted reproductive technologies. Pregnancy happened in 53% of women. Uh, labor happened in 42% of all the patients who were planned, preg who planned pregnancy. During the trial, 107 children were born, five uh, women, they had twins, and five women, uh, they had the second labor after treatment. Their hormonal therapy methods uh, has a quiet frequency rate of relapses. In our case, for a typical, a typical hyperplasia, relapses were 26% for endometrial cancer, 36% five-year survival rate, 72% for a typical hyperplasia, and 57% for early endometrial cancer. Statistically significant. Taking into account a great number of patients, we analyzed prognostic relapse factor. With a multi-factor analysis of statistical importance was the initial diagnosis, and it was uh, um, uh, for cancer. It was worse than for hyperplasia, and uh, the um, uh, additional um, reproductive technologies that was negative. Uh, um, uh, 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 birth and labor after treatment statistically uh, 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 reduced the number of relapses. So on the slide here, you can see the uh, curve. Uh, for survival for patients, uh, um, um, you can see the difference is statistically insignificant. So birth um, 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 and risk of relapse was 11 percent as compared to 37 percent for women who uh, did not give birth. These differences were statistically important for both um, atypical hyperplasia and also for initial uh, uh, endometrium cancer. Uh, with preventive use of um, uh, 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 intrauterine systems, uh, the frequency of relapses was lower than for those who did not use the spiral. And uh, uh, the protective effect of this uh, prevention method was uh, um, better manifested with the initial stages of endometrium cancer. So we can see that hormone therapy is an effective method of uh, the treatment of uh, typical hyperplasia, the initial stage of uh, endometrium cancer. And after treatment, uh, there is a high level and a high, high risk of relapse, 26% for hyperplasia patients and 36% for endometrium cancer. Um, uh, giving birth after treatment and the use of spiral um, statistically reduced the number of relapses after treatment. Thank you.